that's not Luke. Clem, I think I know him. He can't see me. You have to make him go away. Go and find somewhere to hide. Where? Hello? Clem, I can't breathe. Okay, how are you? Well, I'm doing just fine, thank you. My family and I are set up a ways down river. I'm kind of surprised we haven't run into each other yet. What's your name? What's your name? <laughs> My name is George, honey. Pleasure to meet you. You mind if I come in for a bit? No, I guess not. This is a nice place. Is there anyone else around? You don't usually see cabins this big out here. I'm alone. Really? Yeah, I take care of myself. Well, I'm impressed. Well, I'll cut to the chase. I'm out looking for my people, seven of them to be exact. They've been gone a long while and I'm worried they might have gotten lost. Maybe you've seen them. A couple of farm boys and an old man. Spanish guy and his daughter. Quiet girl. A bit taller than you. Big black guy. This big. And a pretty little pregnant lady. That's a lot of people to lose. Tell me about it. This whole damn thing's a pain in the ass. A lot of plates for one person. Looks like a tornado ran through here. I don't ever do the dishes. Hey, well, believe me, I don't either. Just passing through, or you been here a while? Hey, listen, kid. I hope you're not one of those nuts headed up north looking for Shangri-La. I'm not sure why you'd go anywhere after finding this place. Where do you live? Yeah, down by the river there. There's a sweet little spot with a boat where we pitch camp. Got a few tents up and everything else. And... Like I said, I'm surprised we haven't run into each other. How long have you been there? Been there for a good while now. Really? Where does this go? Uh, in the drawer there. Well, it's a real nice place. Kind of cozy. I knew a guy that always wore shirts like this. Doctor. Real smug son of a bitch. But a smart man. What happened to him? Let's just say we had our differences. Sooner or later, people close to you will find a reason to cross you. Happens every time. Well, well. White's in trouble. Three moves away from checkmate. What was that? I thought you said nobody's here. I didn't hear anything.
I told you, nobody's here. Seems that way. Didn't mean to be rude. Couldn't just leave you here with a good conscience if someone was poking around, right? Sure. Who's this? Well, it's a kid. Yeah. Looks like it was taken in this room. You have no idea who these people are, do you? I don't know what you're talking about. Let me ask you this. When you met him, how much did they trust you? What's your point? If people don't trust you, how can you trust them? Well, I think I've troubled you long enough. I can let myself out. Well, wait, who are you? You have a real good day now. Where is he? He's gone. What if he comes back? We need to find the others. We can't go outside. Clementine. Sarah. Well, they told me about Pete. You know where he is, right? Come on, let's go. A man was here. What? What did she say? Someone came to the cabin. What? Clementine talked to him. And you just opened the door for him? Calm down, Rebecca. Calm down? I am calm. You calm down. I didn't open the door. He just came in. She's telling the truth. Did he say his name? Did he say what his name was? Maybe it wasn't him. You know damn well who it was. Did he say his name? He said his name was George. George? That's what he said. Look, Clem, just tell us what he looked like. What was he wearing? Did he sound different? How old was he? His voice was gravelly. Like how? I don't know. Kind of deep and scratchy. He talked about you, Dad. You're not gonna hurt anyone, are you? Of course he won't, Sarah. Uh, your dad's the nicest man I know, which is why he's not gonna do anything crazy, or not nice, right? You know these are bad people, sweetie. They will do or say anything to hurt us. All right, what do you think? Did it seem like he'd be coming back? He saw a picture of me. A picture? What were you doing taking pictures? Carlos. What? You need to calm down. All right, you're scaring your daughter. It was Sarah's idea. I don't care whose idea it was. He was scouting. We got lucky. He wasn't expecting to find us. Clementine must have surprised him. She hadn't been there. Well, he was too smart to stick around, but he'll be back with the rest. We don't have much time. He's right. Everyone pack up. We're moving now. Alvin, wait! We have to leave now, sweetie, before he comes back with more bad guys. But it's gonna be okay. Let's just go get your things. What does he want? To bring us back. Clem, I don't know what he told you, but William Carver is a dangerous man. He's the leader of a camp not far from here, and he's very smart. We were lucky to escape. Look, I'm sorry to involve you, but now that he's seen you, you'll be safer with us. We have to leave. We have to find Pete. We'll get him on the way out, Nick. Clementine, you know where he was, right? Yeah. All right. Everybody grab your stuff. Let's hit the road.
Now you said it was up here? Yeah, just a little ways. Hey Clem, sorry if I gave you some shit back there. I'm just a little on edge. It's just a tough time right now with the pregnancy and all. Why is Carver after you? After me? Oh, you mean us. It's a long story. He... He has a hard time letting go. I know you did your best back there. You know, none of us would make it on our own. Sometimes it's hard knowing just how dependent I am on everyone. I'm not used to that. I'm not comfortable with that. I'm supposed to be a mom soon. Guess I need to work on my patience. Alvin and I still don't know what to call her. Or him if that man gets his wish. God help me. Any ideas? Clem? There. That's where we were. He's not in here. This was the last place I saw him. Maybe he's around here somewhere. Keep your eyes open and stay in sight. Anyone 